Amen. Uh, a false witness that speaketh lies, and, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. Amen. These feet overcome the tendency to want to do wrong. Those tendencies to want to feed into the devil. The gospel feet shod with the preparation of peace. Oh man, wiggle your toes a little bit. Wiggle your toes because it's, it's an analogical. Wiggle your toes because you got to understand that you have to be peaceful. My feet ain't going to mischief. My feet aren't going to let the devil take me in a different place. Amen? Amen. Strap shod, fit. They wore a lot of sandals uh, sometime in, in back in the day, and they had to strap them on. It's another definition for shod. Strap them on. Make sure they fit and let God, let thy word be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. What is a lamp unto my feet? His word. A lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my peaceful feet. The press with the preparation of peace and a light unto my salvation. Amen. God is good. So I guess I got to put my glasses back on and preach a little bit more. Sometimes it gets small. Amen. Amen. God is good. So I'm going to let you know real quick as we shift and still stay on subject matter. God wants us to be together. God wants us to be more than conquerors, doesn't he? Uh huh. The enemy would love to divide and conquer in our lives. The enemy would love to divide and conquer in your family. The enemy loves division. He loves to take over your mind and get you to think about everything except the Lord, doesn't he? He loves to control and monopolize your thought and your time, and you know your priorities are in the wrong place, and it's time to get to the church to pray, right, Kim? The enemy would love to do that. He wants to separate you from God. When you're on the battlefield, we all, God's doing this battle. But when you're on the battlefield, it is a great technique to divide and conquer for the enemy or for whoever's fighting the battle. Division, if you can divide the numbers. The Bible says there's strength in numbers and there's safety in the multitude of counsel. And if the devil can split up the numbers and split up the counsel, then he can conquer us. If he can get you thinking about uh, every other religion, every other doctrine with the itching ears, every other thing but the Bible, he's going to conquer you. He wants to divide and conquer, but not on our watch. Ain't that right, saints? Not on our watch. We're more than conquerors. He wants to split us up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but in Romans 8, all things. Hallelujah. And we are more than conquerors through him that loved us in Romans 8. Hallelujah. More than conquerors. That means we are a monotheistic, monotheistic religion. We're one God religion. Amen? I don't care if you're Catholic, Baptist, Christian, uh, Pentecostal, Methodist, uh, Episcopalian, we all say that we're one God, monotheistic religion. One God, one faith, one baptism. Now, us apostolics really use it and draw it out. This is our strong point. We know that God is one. He was Jesus. He manifests himself in the flesh as one. He came back in spirit as one. Amen. Monotheistic. Oh, the devil wants us to be polytheistic. He wants us to... Spread ourselves too thin. Hindus believe in 1,000 gods. Uh huh. Uh, uh, if you read your horoscope, I don't know what you believe. I don't. I can't mess with you. Amen. Amen. But he wants you to be poly. The devil wants to divide your thoughts, divide your truth. There's only one truth. Amen. And that's Jesus. Gird up your loins with truth. Hallelujah. So in Luke 22 and 31, and I'm going to sit down shortly. Luke 22, 31. 
You turn with me in your Bibles to Luke 22, 31. Somebody said this is real good. This is real good. This is real good. Amen. Luke 22, 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, Peter, Peter. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you. He wants to have you. Still, are you setting yourself in the Lord? Set and then stand. He wants to set you in him. That he may sift you as wheat. Devil wants to sift you. I told you the devil wants to divide and conquer. Am I right? Amen. Now see, a lot of preachers and a lot of people these days, they can do great jobs at talking about this uh, social uh, Christian life and our social uh, secular life and about who's against me and who's uh, who, and we got to talk about that. But I majored even more in the God in you and how the devil tries to uh, conquer your mind. Because if you can control yourself, which is the only person you can control with God, amen, then you can set the atmosphere no matter who else you're around, amen. So it's most important that the God is in us first, that we got the word in us first. The devil wants to sift you. He wants to divide. Sift means to uh, put Find loose like a pottery substance through a sieve so as to remove lumps or large particles, to sift, to examine thoroughly, so as to isolate. Sift means to isolate, right? Isolate. And that which is most important or useful until we sift that evidence, get it spread apart the truth from the lies, evidence ourselves. Uh huh. Uh, to sift means siniazo. Siniazo. To sift, to prove by trials, to sift. Think about the word sift. Oh, man, when you sift, you divide into many parts, don't you? You divide into several pieces, several things. Separate. The devil wants to separate you from your brother. The devil wants to separate you from your sister. The devil wants to separate you from your God. And he doesn't just stop at just getting your names off. He'll get all the other little thoughts, too, to follow. He wants to sift you. He wants to have you. Dividing and conquer, we're going to pray against in this hour. Amen? Uh, the devil can't divide us because we're more than conquerors. Peace fits me just fine. I won't let the adversary bring the war to me. I'll say this is God's war. I'm going to put on this spiritual armor. You brought it to my mind. To my physical body, my flesh. But go on, devil, bring it to my spiritual man and watch out and see if you can win. The devil can't win when he attacks your spiritual man. It's no battle. It, it, it's a no contest, as they say in boxing. Go on, bring it to me, devil, because I'm putting on this spiritual armor and my feet shot. I'm preparing myself with the peace that passes all understanding. I'm preparing myself with the God of peace. Your gospel is peace. A brother last yesterday told me, do you know the lamb is on the throne? We say the lion of, the Dru of Judah and the lamb of God is represented in the Bible. But what's on the throne is the lamb of God. A lamb is peaceful and he still reigns forever. That's why if you don't choose God, it's your fault. He ain't a lion trying to go bite people's heads off. But he's a lamb, and you have to choose this day who you're going to follow. He's the God of, of peace in my life. Peace be still when the devil's upon me. Peace be still. Kim, I got to call on the name of Jesus to still the devil and his trickery and his wiles and, and, and his, his, his tricks. And his deceit, I got to say in the name of Jesus, this peace fits my feet just fine my way. You might pray every day at 12 o'clock, but I might pray at 11 and 8 and 4 because it fits me 
he's greater than he that is in the world. Oh, it's tailor-made for me gospel, the gospel of peace and the glad tidings and the good thing. It's tailor-made for what I need. The blood of Jesus is tailor-made on Calvary for me. The blood of Jesus, the water that came out of his side, works just fine for me. You can keep your Buddha. You can keep your government. You can keep your soothsaying. You can keep your rumors. But God works just fine for me. He's exactly what I need to make it. I put on my shoes, and these are the shoes of the gospel. Because he died that I might walk with my shoes in abundant life. He died that I might have power over the wiles of Satan. He died that I'm not just sitting down, but in my spirit, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord, and he will fight for me. You ain't got to fight this hour because you got on the right shoes in God. Hey, hallelujah. Give him some praise if peace is perfect for you. If peace passes all understanding, it will keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Give him a mighty praise. If you understand the tranquility of God, he'll make the devil his footstool. He'll make the devil lie down and die. And he'll make the devil uh, death in your life. This is why we must die daily. This is why, because we have to kill our flesh with this spiritual warfare. Go on and worship him in your battle. Go on and praise him in your battle. Because the victory is the Lord's. And he's so peaceful, I can sleep at night not thinking that the, 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 the devil's coming to get me. I can sleep at night. And Christians, you ain't got to think you can be uh, possessed by devil. You don't have to be scared to go to bed at night. Can't nothing mess with you. But you can go to sleep with the spirit of the Lord. Do you got your sword with you? Do you got your sword with you at all times? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. With this peace, with this these feet that fit me, because they're the gospel of peace, I got the sword of the spirit. And you can't fight God. You can't fight the devil in the spirit. And you, the, the devil can't fight God in the spirit realm. He's no match. Don't you know he was kicked out of heaven? Don't you know him and his angels was kicked out? One third of them? You got a mighty God on your side. You don't have to be scared. Amen. Especially if you're baptized in Jesus' name. Especially if you repent it in Jesus' name. You don't have to be fearful. He told Moses, fear not. He told Jehoshaphat, fear not. You don't have to be afraid if you decide to speak in tongues or let God speak through you and you spoke in tongues and the Spirit of God gave utterance and the Holy Ghost is baptized you. You don't have to be afraid because God is with you. Whatever you're going through this hour, decide, Lord. Decide, decide, make a decision. Amen. To let the Lord fight for you. The way we let the Lord fight for us is we say, Lord, I'm going to receive this baptism in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've been baptized, there's some growth. There's some growth. Some of us have been baptized in the water and been filled with the Holy Ghost. But we have not been fitted with our spiritual armor yet. Uh-oh. Oh, are you a heretic, Pastor Jimmy? No, you, you received the baptism. God has covered us. Amen. Hey, but you haven't went to the spiritual warfare fitting camp. Amen. You haven't been to boot camp yet. It is time to pray without ceasing, saints. It is time to say hallelujah. It is time to be on the battlefield and worship him until you win your spiritual battle. Worship him until you can speak in authority. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Are there some worshipers here this morning? 
that don't mind worshiping him throughout all trials, throughout all tribulation. I'm a worshiper. And Jesus told the woman at the well, the hour is come where the true worshiper, they don't have to go to Jerusalem. Ah, Jerusalem is a far way off for me. I can't make it there. And when you buy a plane ticket, now they, they're canceling your flight. But if you are a true worshiper, you can take up flight in the spirit wherever you are in your lifestyle. Wherever you are, God can meet you and say, I'm going through this battle, but I'm about to buy my spiritual ticket. And I'm not going to lose in the name of Jesus the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You are mighty, Jesus Tabernacle. You are mighty, Stephanie. You are mighty, Mo Mother Hughes, through God. You are a mighty warrior. And I am a soldier. And I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Put on your shoes and start walking. Start running to God. Take off the shoes of mischief. Say, get behind me, Satan. I'm going to burn those Jordans. I don't care if they weigh $4,000. If you got on the right armor, it's not going to work for you. It's not going to benefit you. But you have to put on the whole armor of God. Yes. Grab your sword. Keep your word with you. I'm going to repeat it like a broken record. You'll remember this one. All things work together for the good of them who love the Lord. I'm called according to his promise. Yes, who can separate me from the love of God? Shout tribulation. No, I got on the full armor. Shout distress. Separate me from the love of God. I got the whole armor on me. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Shall famine, nakedness, pearl, or sword separate me from the love of God? No, 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 no. I am persuaded that neither death, nor light, nor angels, nor principalities, And again it said all powers before that. Nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God. Right after who can separate three scriptures earlier. It said, hallelujah. It said that we are, it said that we are more than conquerors through him that love us. I'm more than a conqueror. And I, I, I don't mind just winning the battle. But the Bible says it's more than that. You're a king. You're a priest. You're not just a conqueror. But you take authority. You're more than a conqueror. Because Jesus fights the battle for you. And you're so peaceful in the love of God. I put my hands together for this gospel of peace in my life. I speak this over Jesus' tabernacle. Peace be still. Devil, you got to go. Oh, greater love had no man than a man laid down his life for his friend. I receive your love. Some, tell somebody, give somebody a big old high five and say the love of God is in me. The love of God is in me. I got the peace that passes all oh, understanding. I just dare you right now to utter hallelujah. You see, saints, I thought about putting a piano right here today and moving the podium. And I had to pray about it. I said, am I gifted enough to preach and worship at the same time and preach while I worship, worship then preach, then preach then worship. And I said, I, I'm not ready for that yet. I don't know what it looks like. My people already look at me funny. Amen. They're already trying to get with it. But I dare you this morning to become a true worshiper for 
Isaiah 9 and 7 says of the increase of his government and peace. Somebody say government and peace. There will be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order and to establish it with judgment and justice from henceforth, even from ever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform it. I'm glad that the Lamb is on the throne. Hallelujah. So we ran over Romans 8, 28, several, a few weeks, a few extra weeks. And Acts 2 and 38, I remind you. Acts 2, Acts 10, Acts 19. They repented. They were baptized in Jesus' name. Amen? We're baptized in Jesus' name because it's the blood name. It's the name of authority. Repented and baptized in Jesus' name. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And they, were, they had remission of sin. Amen. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Have you memorized Acts 2, 38? Yes. You know you need to be baptized in Jesus' name. And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. Everyone. Well, just one of you? Every one of you. Uh-huh. Have you memorized it? Every one of you? Everyone. What's the next one? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ for the removal, the remission, for the remission of sins. And is that all? Ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Does anybody want to uh, admit that Jesus is Lord and repent of their sins this morning? Be baptized in Jesus' name. We already know we have one baptism. Is there anybody else that wants to be baptized? You keep believing. Amen. He'll fill you with the Holy Ghost. He'll baptize you with the Holy Ghost. If you keep believing, amen, you'll continue in the Apostles' Doctrine. And you'll fellowship with believers. Amen. And the devil can't sift you as we. He can't have you. Can't divide and conquer. Not in this house. Your house, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Body is God's temple. Come on down if you want to be saved this morning. Come on down if you just want to declare that your flesh is under your feet, the devil, and, and declare that I've done wrong and I just need some help in my holy life. Amen. Come on down if you want God to perform a work, a good work in you. Come on down. Come on down. God wants to restore wants to make you whole. A lot of us, not all of us, will go to a doctor when we're sick. We say, give me what you got. Amen. It's most important that we go to Dr. Jesus and say, give me your spirit, Lord. Give me your wholeness. Can you fix me? Jesus can fix you. Amen. Come on down.
Let's dismiss and we will have a baptism. We'll dismiss if you want to stay for the baptism, which is one of the most important things that can and will happen in the service. If you miss this, you, you miss your chance to rejoice with the angels. Amen. Amen. Do you know how to battle now? Worship. Worship. That don't just mean sing. That's a small part of it. We battle spiritually and we win. Yeah. By, by our worship. In the name of Jesus, let's, let's stand and pray. And we'll baptize Brother Brother Gilbert Hooker. Yes, Lord. And as we call to order, the service will be dismissed right now. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that we take what we learned today. We take our relationship that we gained and that we grew in today. Lord, we ask that we take it and we don't let it go. Take it and cherish it. In the name of Jesus, we, we ask that we even put it on the hill so everybody can see it. But we definitely keep it in our heart. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit in me. Lord, allow us Help us stay with you and become and continue to be the true worshipers that we are to be. Put on this full armor. In the name of Jesus, I pray victory, more victory this week. Oh, Lord Jesus, more testimonies this week from the battle that is yours, that we are, we are winning. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you fill up the Bible class, fill up the church service. Lord, we pray for that brother that said he's coming. Lord, I, Lord, we pray that the adversary can't have him and sift him as we. Lord, you said I already prayed for your faith, Peter, that you failed, that it failed not. We pray for the sister that's watching online, the brother that's watching online, the sister that ain't been here in a while. No, she needs to get to the altar, the throne of grace. We pray victory and we pray his holiness and salvation on her and him. In the name of Jesus, you can't win devil. But in Jesus' name, hallelujah, we cannot be defeated. You all be dismissed in Jesus' name. Amen.